a flower mechanic here and today we have a Cadillac um, the customer is complaining of a no start and we have some communication errors um, some U codes so U1000 and uh, some other miscellaneous U codes but uh, I go in and check the codes and pretty much every module has a U code what happens is um, they can't start it they can't get the key out of the ignition they can't get it in neutral there's no lights on the dash it almost seems like it's completely dead uh, no communication with the scan tool now I've had a hard time duplicating it but basically what it did do to me is when I initially put the key in um, it will turn on the check engine light comes on but no other dash lights whatsoever come on um, and then it seems like it's almost on a timer within five or ten seconds um, the instrument cluster will come to life everything will power up and everything will actually start working but I'm going to show you how to um, fix these U codes or how to monitor the modules that are causing the communication error usually on these Cadillacs what it means when you get one of those code, U codes is um, that you got a module for, that's failing and it's actually pulling the voltage down on that circuit so um, with the Tech 2 here we're going to go in and I'm going to show you how to identify which module um, can be causing the U1000 communication error code. So let's go ahead and go in here. Um, we're going to go into diagnostics. The one I'm working on is 2003. Yes. All right, so once you get to this screen, you're going to want to go to diagnostic circuit check. we're going to go to class 2 message monitor so we're going to be monitoring um, all the class 2 commu the communication network basically and we're going to see which modules are active and right now um, it, the car is running obviously and we're not having any problems but I haven't actually been able to get it to duplicate this with the scan tool hooked up to it well, once I am able to, basically, I'm going to go down through this. Um, I don't have to be able to communicate with any of the modules to do this test. So we, you can have a, no communication error and um, still be able to do this. Let's get our focus back here. All right. So basically, I'm going to run down through all these modules and make sure they're all active. And obviously they're going to be because um, the car is running right now. But basically, I'm, I would hook this scan when I once I'm able to duplicate this concern. I'm going to hook the scan tool up, and uh, I'm going to run down through these modules. And if I find one that's not active, that is going to be the reason for the communication error and the reason why this car isn't starting. Um, providing I have power. To the module afterwards I'm just gonna make sure I get good power and grounds to the module and if I do then that's gonna be uh, the module I'm gonna go after and as you can see in this vehicle there's 17 different modules so it could uh, be a lot of work trying to be able to guess without having the capability of doing this so um, I just wanted to do a quick video for anybody out there that runs into um, U codes U1000 particularly um, in all the modules or no start condition or what sometimes can even seem like a no power condition. There was no crank, no start, uh, couldn't get the key out, couldn't, nothing was working. So um, hopefully we can duplicate this and I will let you know in the video description below what fixed it. Thanks for watching Flat Ray Mechanic. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if this is helpful.